No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Hey everybody, we're here with Michael uh, from DJI, and he's going to talk to us about the Phantom 3 and other new goodies. So we've got a lot of exciting things to show off at uh, NAB 2015 this year. First of all, we've recently announced the new DJI Phantom 3. This takes all of our most complex technology and have shrinked it down into the Phantom form factor. So on board you've got a 4K camera, you've got uh, HD live streaming of the video, so you're able to see exactly what the camera is shooting. You also have a downward facing camera that keeps it stabilized in uh, indoor situations where you don't have GPS. So there's a lot of complex functionality that's built on board. We've also, we've also upgraded the DJI Pilot app that controls not only the Phantom, but also the Inspire One. In the uh, DJI Pilot app, we now have YouTube live streaming and a feature that we call Director, where you tag all your favorite moments while you fly, and then when you land, the director will edit a video all together for you, and you're able to post it immediately to Facebook, or YouTube, or Instagram. So it's like it does a it does an editing. Uh, it edits the clips together for you. Exactly. So you just choose the template, choose the music, and then the platform will edit for you. Nice. And the the bottom facing camera is like it's it's for the unit to know what's what's below it so it can not crash basically one of the things that makes the phantom so easy to use is our gps so that basically means that when you take it outside into a wind or whatever you can take your hands off the controls and it'll stay locked in the same place when you're inside you're not necessarily going to be able to get that option without gps it'll drift around right but with the downward facing camera it will notice where it's supposed to be in space and will lock itself into that point of uh, where it's supposed to be. So that not only provides greater stability indoors, but also provides greater stability when it's off, just a few inches off the ground. So you're able to get this really cool, low passing, stable shot that looks like a, you're running with a handheld gimbal stabilizer really close to the ground. It's fantastic. Nice, and, and uh, does the Phantom 3 have a, a camera that that's comes on board with it, or is it for carrying other small cameras? So right now, the Phantom 3 only has a camera integrated into the platform. Basically, we're looking at creating a really seamless solution for people. The camera is fantastic. It's got a 94-degree field of view, rectilineal distortion, so you're not going to have to take out the fisheye or anything like that. It's also got a pretty large sensor on board, so it has a lot more sensitivity to light and provides great HDR shots, provides great contrast against the sky, all of that. Um, is, this is this a camera that you guys have developed a sensor for, or is this like a, because before they were, it was a GoPro, or? Right, so we've developed the camera ourselves in-house. Some of the sensors and some of the small pieces come from Sony and other uh, manufacturers, but the design of the camera is specifically designed to fly. And when you look at the camera, one of the amazing things is you'll notice that the camera isn't actually a camera. It's just a lens and a sensor. All of the other electronics in terms of storage, processing, is happening in the gimbal on top. That means that the gimbal motors are having to do a lot less work to keep it stable in the sky. Nice, and what are the shooting specs on this camera? So we have two versions. One is the professional and one is the advanced. The professional has 4K and it shoots up to 30 FPS. So it's got a lot of options for uh, filmmakers. For photographers, it shoots 12 megapixel stills in Adobe DNG RAW and JPEG. The videos can be stored in either .mov or .mp4. The, uh, professional, or the advanced version has uh, a 1080p camera on board and it can shoot up to 60 FPS and all the other specs are the same. The, the price points are a little bit different. The uh, professional has is available for $1,259, and the advanced version is available for $999. Nice. Are these available now? Or? They're available for pre-order now, and they'll be shipping within the next few weeks. Excellent. And uh, there's another new product as well? We're really excited about this one, particularly for filmmakers. And uh, your cameraman, I think, will particularly appreciate this one. It's the new DJI Ronin-M. 
The Ronin M takes all the amazing, easy to use uh, stabilization features of our larger Ronin, but has shrinked it down into a lightweight, backpackable form that can carry any camera setup up to eight pounds. So with eight pound payload and the platform itself is five pounds, you're able to get a lot more creative options. And then it just uh, pulls apart and will fit easily into your backpack. Uh, it's got a lot of intelligent features on board. It also integrates with some of the peripheries, peripheral accessories that we're developing right now. It includes a thumbstick gimbal control. So as a single operator, you can point the camera exactly where it's supposed to be. We also, it ships with a remote control so that you can angle the camera with a second operator. And then we're also showing off our prototype follow focus system that will be uh, released later on this year. Yeah, that's excellent. Because that, seem, that seems to be, for budget filmmakers, uh, that seems to be the big issue. Is, is you know, if you're going to fly a camera, a small camera, being able to keep it in focus is, is really important. Um, what what cameras do you think are ideal for the for the Ronin? Oh wow, um, we've shot with everything from an A7S GH4. Uh, we've not tried it yet, but we hear the C300 fits pretty well on there. Some of the Blackmagic cameras. So there's a lot of options in terms of what you can mount to it and how you can get stable cinematic shots. Excellent. How long can you fly that for with, a, with that payload? So it, it's a, you know, you can operate it for about six hours on, a, on one battery charge. So there's a lot of options in terms of how you're able to operate this gimbal. Right on. And uh, what's the price point and availability on that? We've not announced a price point yet. Uh, it will be available for pre-order later this month, but we're looking at a price point that's less than 2,000 US dollars. So compared to anything else that's on the market, this is a lot more accessible, not just in terms of features, but also in terms of price point. Absolutely. Well, right on. You, you heard it here first, uh, DJI.